All right, what I'd like to do today is I'm going to explain how manifestation works. And I apologize if the lighting is bad. But this is how that which is manifests itself expands into that which is not. Okay? That which is is represented by the positive, the positive sign or the positive charge. That which is not is recognized by the negative sign or the negative charge. So, our soul, represented right here by this circle, our soul is perceiving that it's receiving unconditional love from a single source, a single source of energy that we refer to as God. So, this is the source of what we perceive as unconditional love. It is source energy. It is what we perceive as God. So, this is the single source. There are many other smaller sources, but ultimately everything comes from one single source, okay? And God, source, is sending positive charges into eternity, infinitely, and our souls are being upgraded and are receiving these positive charges, okay? So what happens when the soul is when the soul receives positive charges positive upgrades from source it has to be harmonized it goes through a harmonization process and the way to think of a soul being harmonized uh, a soul is harmonized by experiencing the emotions okay Emotions are the soul's way of communicating with the physical body. And a good way of thinking about the emotions is like guitar strings. Okay? They are vibrational because there is no smallest particle. In essence, everything is energy. Okay? Everything is energy coming from a single source known as God. So, the highest vibrational note that our soul resonates with is love unconditional love and when we say love uh, we there unconditional should be um, automatically included in the definition but we have multiple definitions of the word love but unconditional love we are receiving unconditional positive charges of energy from a single source not just sunlight like with photosynthesis but we are also receiving unconditional love okay from what we call God the Father in the Western world Okay, the highest vibrational note that our soul perceives is love. The lowest vibrational note that our soul perceives is fear. Okay, so what happens when that which is eternally expands and when it comes into contact with that which is not? Because we, as individual souls, we are in the process of becoming. Okay, we are eternally expanding into unconditional love. We are eternally expanding into God's kingdom. All right? So this is how it works. When unconditional love reaches the soul, okay? The first emotion that is felt is fear. Okay? And what fear does, fear actually creates negative karma around the soul. Okay? This is the negative this is the negative charge that is responding to the positive charge, okay? Fear leads to negative karma, and this negative karma helps us to, uh, it helps us to process the emotions, okay? But what this negative karma does is this negative karma ultimately results in desire, okay? So when you have what we call contrast, what we don't want, we know what we do want, and this leads to desire. Now our desires will always manifest according to what we will allow. So what our belief systems will allow us to receive, what our belief systems will allow us to accept, this is called the law of attraction, and this is how we form desires. And desire is how we expand and grow and this is how this is how the universe matures okay this is how we as souls mature and expand so we are all as individual immortal souls 
okay? Like matter, we cannot be created or destroyed, okay? We are, we are energies. We are receiving positive charges from a single source known as God. We perceive these positive charges as unconditional love. When the soul receives, picks up on these signals of unconditional love, the lowest vibrational note that it experiences is fear. And the soul goes through a harmonization process. And as it becomes uh, more and more akin to unconditional love, the soul becomes lighter. Okay? And so as we experience fear, we experience negative karma, which there's a lot of misconceptions about what karma is. Karma is not based off of what you deserve or what you don't deserve. Karma is simply the result of fear surrounding the soul, negative charge coming into contact with a positive charge. The soul processes this negative karma through the emotions and we become more loving, we become lighter, and we manifest desires. And based off of our desires and based off of what we believe about ourselves, perhaps our religious beliefs or whatever, that will determine what we allow into our reality. So everything that occurs in the outside world, it is a reflection of what is going on within us. Okay? This is the law of attraction. This is how the universe expands.